Take two, we shall try this again. 2004 VW Polo 19 TDI with the uh, PD100 engine. Clouds look disappointing, so we'll have to keep this short and sweet. Come on, curse these keys, there we go. So ignition on, the car has been calling for a good 45 minutes to an hour now. I was most aggrieved to, uh, see, pretty cool. I'm hearing noise, neighbors. Oh, not now. So, engine, pretty reasonably cold. Yeah, look, I can put my hand on the coolant bottle, so not that hot. We'll get in the car. Actually, we'll leave the bonnet open because I've got to demonstrate stuff. You'll excuse the impending noise. So, handbrake neutral. Engine on. No unfortunate smoke. We'll get right down here. I hold my breath. See? Engine is on. I can touch the exhaust, let's see. Cold. So, look. Oh. Bit of muck, but that's uh, sooty bits. No undue smoke. Oh Christ! Tree. So yeah, it's not rocking about. It's not doing nothing. Undue noises. All is well. Let us go. Let us go from this place. Right in we get. So all the uh, warning lamps illuminated. They have all extinguished. Let's go before this cacophony of noise begins. So. Excuse me. So PD100 engine, five-speed gearbox. Good clutch operation, the brakes operate nicely. Good swift acceleration. Especially given how, well not especially, but it's more apparent because this is only a wee fella. Is my guy in there? He's busy, a neighbor slash friend of mine. So, 103, oh, sorry, 106, that's 106. 318, 106,318 miles at time of recording. It is May the 30th, it's approximately half seven at night. Uh, just give a quick blast on the wipers. Dry windscreen, very good. There we go, so look, nice and operative. So, cruising about, gently, gently, gently. Is the dashboard illumination? There we go, we'll go with the brightness right up. So the old red and blues. So, I was so furious that the previous video didn't work. Real good bit of spiel. Admittedly, it would be about 30, 40 minutes. I'm not sure how much you could have stomached in one sitting. So, vehicle drives nice. Drive a straight line. We'll brake and stop in a straight line. Bring the clutch in. So, drives legit. All is well. When I stop talking quite so incessantly, you'll hear there's no undue knocks, bangs, rattles, or clahonks. Lock the vehicle. Cyclist, cars, cars, cyclist. Yep, we'll hazard that, so we are zooming. So, good swift engagement with the uh, gears. No difficulty, he's not fighting against you. The springs back to neutral quite nicely. See, fourth gear at 30, we'll grab fifth at 40. Again, no spiel or sub subterfuge. No difficulty whatsoever. Steering, is it one finger? Yeah, that's pretty light. So good direct steering. Although I've not had the wheel alignment done since uh, having the tyres fitted, straight and true. All is well. I say briefly, run of haughty. Um, the previous tyres were replaced. They were disgusting. Three ten-year-old tyres and an eleven-year-old tyre at the front. All the sidewalls crazed with all manner of dry rot from the uh, UV bleaching rays of the sun. So we'll go straight over this roundabout, clear from over there, we'll beat him, no problems. In my way, PD100. So yeah, getting towards coolant temperature, that does not necessarily mean the engine oil is fully warm. So we'll wait a short while yet before giving it any uh, level of uh, persuasive throttle use. We'll definitely have to stop at this roundabout, unfortunately, on account of uh, citizens traveling places. Potential blocker, we're going for that. So near side blind spot check, we are making progress into third. So standard diesel noises. With the window open, you do hear the old uh, turbo whistling when you get on boost about 1500 RPM, 1800 possibly. So, so oh, bit of excitement for you. Uh, the wipers are good, they do clear. 
bit noisy. The screen is clean. I did wash this vehicle the other day. Um, not sure on the age of the wipers or indeed the brand. Are they Valio, are they Bosch. Uh, I can't comment because I can't quite see that clearly. My eyes are good, but bloody hell, if the information's not there, I can only read you so much. So, uh, oh, this is uh, Chelmsford. So, smooth roads, reasonable side. The people that use the roads, yeah, so so. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab the second exit and we'll use this dual carriageway to come back down later. Got an Arctic, this foreign geezer, Polish, German. Take some sunglasses off. Uh, what nationality are you? Let's have a look, let's have a look, let's have a look, let's have a look. Polish. So a bit more, wait for lorries to be clear. Let's go, so we're going to second exit. Ignoring his indication, because he, bloody hell, he's going up there in that. Oh Christ, maybe I will regret coming up here then. But this will demonstrate uh, slow speed driving and give you a good opportunity, potholders there, to listen to all the noises or indeed lack thereof. This geese has got to be lost because there's nothing, there's no industrial areas around here or any sort of units. I don't know what the hell he's doing up here. Hopefully we don't get stuck behind him on film. It's bad enough that I've had to redo this film, much less get stuck behind a, a totally misplaced motor. Uh, fire engine, yeah, he's got a decent amount of room, so he's going over the lines, so keep an eye on the curb. So, glass, glass of visibility, A pillars, mirrors, windows, all decent, no cracks, no delamination around any of the uh, glass, good visibility throughout. Get acceleration, we'll grab fourth, so we'll lift off. There's a pedestrian crossing shortly, so we're not going to rush too much, so I want to see a Good panorama of what's going on ahead. I've got young kids, I've got cyclists, uh, just gotta keep the eyes flicking and scanning. I've got people sodding about there, not concentrating. Fucking hell. We're in a mum's curtains. Um, yeah, the vehicle drives absolutely fine, it pulls cleanly through the gears. No smoke, certainly none that I've seen in the mirror. And again, I demonstrated the uh, cold idle earlier. Jesus, totally lost this geezer. Oh good, bit of space. So we'll give a very small squirt of throttle off this round out. No cyclists, good. So look first, into second, bit of throttle, into third, into fourth. So good swift acceleration, no telltale ta troubling signs of blue, white or any black smoke. Good Lord. Um, so. VW Polo, sport trim, so four spoke wheel. I didn't say it in word form, but it might have been illustrated earlier. Four spoke steering wheel, yes. Nice and shiny here. Unfortunately been worn away where hands have rested over the years. So when people steer like that or like that, it's probably like that, where hands have been held like that for some time. So of course it's uh, caused some deterioration to the uh, reflective surface of the wheel. Reflective, shiny. Child potentially using the crossing. Gonna stop using your phone, not even gonna check right as you cross. Still on the blower. Jesus. We need them hedgehogs back on the TV teaching the green cross code. Totally clueless. Yeah, so the driving, absolutely a cinch to drive, no problem. So it's like a roller skate, this thing. It's like a go-kart, you, you chuck the wheel, it's turning. But this is no uh, track day monster. So it's a daily commuter car, it does that perfectly as well. On this short drive so far, we have achieved 52 mile per gallon. Now, I've not driven especially carefully. I've not really hyper mild it and coded about all that business with tyres inflated to 100 psi. So, uh, this is no camouflage trick, double mirror thing. This is driven honestly. I say it drives well. Third gear, pulling, well, not, I'm not pulling, but I'm easily holding 20 mile an hour. No I'm bogging down or struggling. Hang back though, because I can't really, I'm sitting too close to this Mercedes, so I need to look over his roof to see what's going on. All is well. So, come on, yep. It's got no problems with uh, holding coolant or overheating, nothing like that. Gears engaged nice, clutch is good, brakes straight and true. Do a quick brake test briefly. Get back in a second. So it doesn't veer to the side. There's no torque steering. All the suspension and steering components don't offer me any issues in driving. Uh, gears are fine. Doors open and close. Windows. We take it as red that they should work, but it's worth a demonstration. Let's see. Oh, 
bugger. That's the road I wanted to use, so we'll divert from him now. We'll go a different way instead. Rather than get stuck behind mate, you'll leave him. So, exit the roundabout. Tires are good, but that doesn't actually get conveyed on film. But yeah, good look. No hint of difficulty, any undue noises. Uh, might drop my Christ a bit. I should stop talking for a moment. Wait. And um, allow the lack of noise to talk for itself. Entering a national speed limit shortly. Brief audio test. I've been enjoying my cassettes recently, but you'll have to suffer radio too. I think it's half seven, so what, Sarah Cox now? That sounds like Joe Wiley. All that kind of stuff. Uh, Entering national, see if we can get you some music. That's no good. In the city. That's no good. There you go. <laughs> Yeah, I've had enough of that. So, accelerate international, go back to fourth, watch a speedo, no smoke in the mirrors. Whee! Hey, Whee! Yeah! <laughs> it's a good little squirt. Um, PD 100, 100 horsepower, newton meters, 250 odd. That's a guess at this point. I'm not certain. I'll need to look at the book figures. Uh, it does come with the uh, into third. First exit heading towards the Trump's of A12, Colchester. So exit this roundabout, clear, clear. Might be a motorcycle cop, so do check. Good, so third gear, 30 mile an hour, plant it, watch for smoke. My eyes are looking ahead, but I'll keep the mirror camera pointing this way. So no smoke, nothing undue to worry about. Say, so engine hole's lovely. The cam belt, something I mentioned in the first video. This vehicle is a 106,000 miles. The cam belt was previously replaced at 89,000 miles. Dramatic pause in 2013. So I'd recommend uh, getting that sorted in the future. Cam belt and water pump. Whilst all that an ancillary equipment is off, always do the water pump as well. It's getting removed. Like You're so close to that part anyway, it'd be foolish not to replace it. Uh, partial service history with this vehicle. I've got a folder of all the receipts that I was furnished with are in a folder, plus the receipts for the parts that I've bought since coming into the, uh, ownership of the vehicle. There we go. So look, how quiet they are once you've got a bit of water on them. Brilliant. <laughs> yeah, you and all. Um, good, we've still got the red, the red light on the GoPro. That's the old mist wipe. So once you've done like, the main water wash, Modern cars, VW in this instance. Where hey? So look, you just give it one tap, and it does a mist wipe. Where like it does like any dribbles or triangles of doom, as mentioned on Hubnut, will get uh, dispatched with swiftly. Heated rear screen, of course, but that's nothing special. It's been on cars for like the last 40 years. Air conditioning, nice and cold. A cup holder, yes. Not sure how big a cup you're going to get in that. If you're into a, come on, no, come on, play ball now. There we go. If you're keen into your uh, warm, comestible products, not sure if comestibles can be used for drinks, but anyway, getting bogged down here. Um, right, take this next slip road. So I went for a 200 yard marker. There we go, coming off. Wipe, curse that noise. But you can see they work, they're not streaking, they're not missing anything, but they're making noise. I was going to uh, clean them up using like, uh, methylated spirits, like the pink stuff, but I haven't had time in very busy at work recently. So we're taking the fourth exit on this roundabout, getting better. Fourth exit turning right, so at Chelmsford A138, Boreham B1137, which we up this hill here. So mirrors, all good. Oh Christ, I don't want that quite that fast. Oh, we're going to have to stop now. <sighs> Woo! -hoo! So wait for this geezer. BM and Fiesta. Can we beat the Ford Ranger? We'll have the Ford Ranger. Let's go. So accelerate him. Into second. Third. See, noise is getting better. 
with the uh, increased moisture content on the windscreen. Police car, Ooh. indicating off the roundabout. Keep a polite distance from behind them. Intermittent wipers are not enough. They are adjustable, so we will quickly uh, doink doink, press that a bit higher. Um, mm, oh, MOT. Uh, you have got the registration, both in video and uh, photographic format. November 23? No, November November 22. Was it 23? No, I think it's November. Yeah, it's got to be November 22. I can't give you a precise date off the top of my head. That's something that um, you'd have to do a quick uh, direct gov MOT reg check. Very simple to do. So acceleration in fourth gear. No smoke. We'll take it to about three grand, which will be a crisp 70 mile an hour into fifth. Very good vehicle to drive. Absolutely no problems whatsoever. Going to lane two now because we don't want to come off on this slip road. So I'll stop talking briefly. Let the road noise speak for itself. It's a nice, it's a decent cabin. Nice and comfortable. So there's no buffety wind noise. It's more tyre noise, if anything. But absolutely comfortable. Steer straight and true. Do I dare let go at 65? Briefly. But um, yeah, I ain't that brave. Not for that long. Let's see if we can get on the same, not quite so off camera. So 50 mile an hour, lifting off now, no brake pedal, natural deceleration of the engine, diesel, high compression and all that. So I hope we've reached this sign. There you go, 50, nice. So I've just got to check over my shoulder, no one's joining us, very good. I'm not obliged to move for them. Spotted a motorcycle, east. I'm not obliged to move for them, but if they're that nutty and possibly uninsured, then I'm not gonna run that risk. We'll take the first exit this roundabout, which takes us left. I'll then get out the vehicle, demonstrate the engine again, the exhaust, absolute lack of smoke, no nasty colours to be seen. Rev match down to fourth, third, second if we're ambitious. Let it drop down a bit more. There we go, rev matching. So look, smooth engagement. The gearbox offers me no resistance. Smooth, decent drive. I do keep banging that same old drum, but it's a thoroughly decent car. If it was a big old estate car, then that Skoda Octavia in my driveway would be gone. It's days are numbered. But uh, no, nah, this is too small. I, I use my car, I've slept in it a couple of times, the Octavia, driving around the country, but transport my dog around in it frequently, do DIY projects, getting appliances, taking stuff up the dump. So, <coughs> excuse me, most vulgar. Um, yeah, lovely as this is, it's too small for my tastes. If this was an Audi A6 or a Passat P1, I'd be like bang on it. I'll drop the window. So don't leave a vehicle uh, keys running with the uh, doors locked. We'll get down to the ground again. Ugh, much we did in a driveway earlier. Look, I'm risking lung cancer to demonstrate. Look, still very much running. No soot, no undue mess. Ugh. All good, excellent. Back to the... Uh, power plant I'll let the video talk for itself I say feel free to get in contact with me we'll organize a meet and a greet uh, hope it's been somewhat informative illuminating elucidating you've enjoyed it if nothing else so it's been a little tear up saying kill the eat time even or yoy Bosch blades oh let's have a look see if we can get a brand name on these front blades uh, 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 so we'll quickly ping them off. Well, they're made in Belgium. Oh no, shit! That is the Bosch logo. Uh, where's the camera? If you get right up in there, it's a circle. How do I describe the Bosch logo? It is. Let's get this back on. Come on. There we go. Yeah, the Bosch logo is a circle, and inside that there's like a a horizontal line with like the curvy bits. So it doesn't say Bosch in word form. Let's see if I can. See it on this one. Yeah, it doesn't say it on it, but yeah, it's the Bosch logo. It's almost like a, um, a rivet at each end and like a straight line in the middle. Anyway, I'll get this wiper blade, it really doesn't matter, they, they can be easily replaced. But, um, yes, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm glad it actually recorded this time. Front fog lights because it's a sport model. But yeah, a thoroughly decent steer. 
and uh, hopefully this video has uh, found you well and been enjoyable thank you very much for watching stay safe have a good evening cheerio